Hello guys, this is another very popular A-level physics exam question. It's a good question, not really difficult, but I've seen many students struggle with these kind of questions. So as usual, pause the video and give this a try. Try if you can figure this out yourself. And when you have the answer, or if you think you're not exactly sure what to do, but you need some help, please continue the video. A large block of ice is floating in seawater. Okay. The ice has a density of 920, which is less than that of seawater, hence it floats. But you know, a large volume of it, a large proportion of it is actually under the seawater. And a total volume of V. Okay, so the full volume here is V. The density of seawater is 1030. So the density here is 1030. Now, let's say the volume of ice under the water level, let's call it lowercase v. That's capital V here. Yeah? Let's say the volume here, the blue volume is lowercase v. Now, Let's think about the forces acting here. The weight is acting downwards. Then the up thrust is acting vertically upwards. So those are the only two forces. Under those two forces, this iceberg is in equilibrium. So let's say U is equal to mg. Now up thrust is V rho G is equal to mg. Now this is really important. For the up thrust, this V is the volume displaced, which is lowercase v times by density outside, density of the fluid 1030, the G actually gets cancelled out, so you don't need to worry about it, is equal to mass of the iceberg. Now, to find the mass of the iceberg, because density is equal to mass over volume, mass is density times volume. Now, the density, we are talking about the density of the iceberg, which is 920 times by its volume, is capital V. So I just color coded this. So capital V is the volume, total volume of the iceberg and lowercase v is the volume under water. Now I can find lowercase v divided by capital V easily, which is 92 over 103. The zeros get cancelled out. Now if you look at this one, you can clearly see this lowercase v divided by capital V is the volume underwater divided by the full volume, which is the fraction of iceberg underwater. But my question is, what fraction of the ice block's volume is above the surface? So I need to find what is this as a fraction. So obviously one takeaway, this gives you the fraction of iceberg above the surface of water. So the final answer is 11 over 103. 